YouTubers, it's Nick540 here. I have not done a video since I think it was March 15th. Uh, lots been going on here in my life. Uh, looking to move across the country at some point soon. And I uh, actually just recently left my job and looking for new work right now. So it's been a bit hectic, but I'm back on the video making gig here. So uh, I will show you. I have not had a lot to unbox recently, especially with gold and silver. But I will show you here. Um, I, this is picked up from the Royal Canadian Mint. They did an amazing program here. It's called the World's, the World's Smallest Gold Coins. And here's what the brochure looks like. And basically it's a program where you get, uh, it's more of a numismatic thing than actually an investment, where you get um, first coin as uh, 0.5 grams for 79.95. Um, and the every subsequent coin for one nineteen ninety five that includes tax and shipping. You get this nice box, and you get a magnifying glass. And inside this box, you'll see here. And so they, what they basically do is they'll send you a coin every month. Um, so what you see here, if I tilt my camera up a little bit, there you go. You can see it there. It's this got the Royal Canadian Mint um, logo right there embezzled into it. It's kind of a felt. And then here, what you see is the coins I've gotten so far. Um, these are all 0 0.5 gram. It's very numismatic thing, something I can pass on to, you know, my great-grandchildren or grandchildren. If I live, it depends on how long I live. Uh, one of the things that here is the Cougar. This is uh, from Canada. This is the Canadian Cougar. And, of course, all of you have seen that from my previous collection. I now have two of those. Yeah, that one's a 2011. The one next to it here, it's going to be kind of hard to see, I'll pull out here, is actually from pa Palu. And um, this one here is Christopher Columbus's uh, ship, the Santa Maria. And this coin is from 2006. And on the back you can see it's got the crest of Palu. Uh, Palau, I think it's called actually, I don't know why I'm saying Palu, Palau there. So as I said, it's coins of the world. So we're going to get lots of different ones. The second one here in the collection we gained from Palau. This is uh, John F. Kennedy. It's a 2007, so it's just basically a, a portrait of his head right here. And uh, it's hard to see, but again, it's Palau again. So two from each country. Um, and then yesterday I just got uh, from Mongolia. This is uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Um, doing that famous painting where he, I uh, can't remember the name of it, I'm apparently not very well educated on paintings, um, where he's kind of doing the the man, I think it's called something about man, I don't know, uh, but it's a 2006 one. And uh, on the back it's got the Mongolian um, crest and some writing in Mongolian. I don't know what the language is again. So that's what I have so far. So what would happen here is these are all going to get filled up. So I have another year of getting coins. They send approximately two a month and um, they sent this box with it, of course, and they give you all these little write-up cards. So there's a card on each one and it just basically talks about the face value, finish, composition, weight, diameter, the issuing country, the year, what the edge is, and just a tiny bit about the history. Apparently I haven't read that, that's why I don't know a lot of uh, how to pronounce this. Here's the Da Vinci one right there. So, um, yeah. So, the, oh yeah, it's called uh, Renaissance Man. My apologies. And then what they're going to send with the uh, purchase of the next four is a magnifying glass. As these are 0 0.5 uh, grams, it's very small. So uh, this is actually kind of a cool keep safe, more of a numismatic thing. The box is nice, comes on these kind of piano hinges here. So here's an update to my collection right there. So I think that's kind of neat and I'll just put this off to the side here and I'll show you what else I got. We'll keep that open for now. They're not doing running this program again. So this is really more of a keep safe thing. I would not recommend investing in it as an investment because $119 for, dollars for a 0 0.5 gram coin is ridiculous. Even though the first one's 79, that's still ridiculous. You can get way better deals, but uh, this is what I like, so that's why I chose to do that. Uh, let's jump into some of the silver that I have here. Um, I don't have much silver, as I said, because I left my job. I'm uh, really cash poor these days. But um, 
Right here, uh, I've talked about in my previous video, the $20 for $20 at the Royal Canadian Mint has. Um, so you get, uh, you know, almost 8 grams of silver there. 20 bucks. I know it's a bit of a ripoff now, especially with silver, what it is nowadays. Although it did go up today by, I think it was $1.73. Anyway, so this was the second one in the coin program. I don't have the first one. Uh, here's the third is the polar bear here and they just recently came out with the fourth one which I only got one of because I'm not a huge fan of this one it's uh, the um, I think it was um, it's the Queen Elizabeth here and um, it's uh, their uh, 1952 to 2012 right there and again it's 9999 pure silver and on the back it shows a very young Queen Elizabeth here del Gra grata regina um, which is what they used to say on the older pennies, you can still see that on in quarters and whatnot. So that's, uh, those are the three there. Really the only new one in this er, is this one here, um, which is the fourth in the series of the 20 for 20. Uh, the next thing I got here is I got uh, two First Majestic, right here, First Majestic one ounce coins. I really did like First Majestic, and on the back it's got a map of Mexico, and it's got, um, talking about their uh, stock ticker, they're on the um, TSX uh, FR is their stock ticker, I believe. 999 pure silver. I'm not an investor in, in them, other than the metals here. I got these at a local coin shop for a really good deal. They were, they were at the time I got them, uh, around $24 each. So um, this was a little while ago too. So very good deal. Very good on the first Majestics there. So here's some two more ounces plus this uh, about eight grams there. Um, I also got uh, following up on the Canadian Wildlife Series from the Royal Canadian Mint. They came up with their fourth coin and that's the um, moose. I was actually one of the first people to get one of these. I got it a long time ago and I almost did a video about it because there was none that I could find on YouTube. But I held off until I got some more stuff to show you guys. This is a beautiful coin. It might actually, might actually be my favorite. I like the wolf in this one and the bear. Cougar I was not a huge fan of but this is a gorgeous coin here. Um, and I might actually pick up a tube once I'm employed again. That's absolutely unbelievable. Um, and I did get also, that was from my local coin shop and I got this from my local coin shop. It's a Jonathan uh, Mathé. It's a one ounce with the serial number down here. It was uh, very tarnished but I managed to clean it off with an eraser. I got a lot of it off. Um, a very rubbery eraser. Yeah, I'm not doing it for numismatic but uh, I do like it to look a little shiny. So that one is um, a beauty and he just had you know a bin full of different one ounce coins and bars and I just pulled this one out. It was the only one in there and uh, it's kind of a neat one. I don't know what year it was made but the serial number is uh, on there. It's 858341. Cool little serial number there. Um, yeah and then I also got uh, a colleague of, of mine at, at my previous workplace uh, was selling some jewelry so I picked up some 925. All of this is 925. It's about uh, altogether eight grams, so not very much, um, of 925 silver. So it's kind of junk silver here. Um, so I picked that up there. It's just, you know, kind of good melt value. I got to actually melt it. This bracelet's actually pretty nice. And also from her, I got this Burks uh, 10 karat gold. It's got 10 karat yellow gold and I believe this is 14 karat white. Um, on the inside. It's hard to read. It's so small on there. Um, and I got this from her too. Again, it's about three, just under three grams, so it's not actually worth that much. Um, so a friend from work gave, I uh, bought this from her. And uh, again, it's just a little bit of gold, three grams, not much. Uh, more than those little guys, but, well, not quite, no, less than those little guys, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's what I got here. And um, so it's been a very slow uh, and steady growth of the collection. Um, and here's the, the rest of it in the, in the box here. All kind of stacked up, messy and nice. So uh, golden one little thing. Below there I've got the 90% uh, uh, and 80% silver and gold. So yeah, um, just adding to the collection there. Got a little numismatic in there, and I promise I will do another video uh, in the near, near future. Um, I've got some really cool um, 
remote helicopters I'll show you. So yeah, here's the world's smallest gold uh, thing again, and I'm looking for it. I'll show you as the, uh, and there's the magnifying glass I'm going to get. I'll show you as this fills. Sorry guys, my other video uh, cut out. I ran out of um, battery there. But yeah, as I said, um, I'll show you as this fills up and I'll keep you posted. Uh, every four coins or so, I will do another review of this. And as I said before, I have some really cool, really cool uh, remote helicopters that uh, I'm gonna be showing. Um, I know it's not silver, gold base, but uh, this is worth a video in itself to show you some of these guys. Um, and I have had a request when I did one of my uh, unboxings of the C7 spy copter. So uh, look for that coming up next. And thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please let me know uh, what you think of these beautiful little coins of the world. And I look forward to seeing what other countries I'm going to get in this. They actually didn't tell me what countries. I knew I was going to get the Canadian one. I didn't know Palau was going to be there or Mongolia. Another one will come from Mongolia and I'm not sure where the rest will come. My guess is we're going to have a few from uh, um, some countries. Um, not sure but I'm guessing some from uh, South Africa, maybe Somalia. I'm guessing we could have one or two from from different places in the UK, in Europe, in the UK. And um, Probably one or two from Australia is my guess. Again, this is just a guess. It's kind of exciting getting a couple coins every month, not knowing what they're going to be. And um, I find this uh, program quite neat. Again, not an investor thing, a numismatic thing. Well, uh, to my hundred or so subscribers, thank you all so much for your patience and waiting um, as I go through these life transitions. And uh, more videos to come shortly. And I'm sure to have an unboxing also of the iPhone 5. And I will keep you guys when that comes out in September. September is what my guess is. Nobody knows for sure if it's going to be September. Um, nothing really too interesting has happened at Apple, in my opinion. Um, I know a lot of neat products have come out, like the uh, Retina Display MacBook Pro, but um, I'm not going to budge on that one. Too expensive. I already have a MacBook Pro. Um, anyways, yeah, now I'm just rambling. It's been a while since I've done a video. So, again, thanks for watching, guys and gals. See you in the next one.